Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another rugby video. Uh, we're going to be checking out Artie Sevilla, 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 um, today from the All Blacks. Um, yeah, we, we've seen him a few times throughout the the videos we've done and stuff, and I figured I should check him out finally because, yeah, he seems to be one of the better players on the All Blacks at the moment or of the last little while, so yeah, we'll, we'll check him out. Um, yeah, um, if you are new here, we usually go on Wikipedia first before we go into any highlights of a player or like a team we look at. So, um, yeah, well, I'll be going on Wikipedia. If you don't want to watch that, you just want to see my reaction to like his plays and stuff, then you can uh, just skip ahead. I got the time code set up for you. Um, but yeah, I guess we should just hop into it. Um, yeah, make sure to drop a sub if you're if you're not subbed. Uh, like the video, comment, which take out in the future. Um, yeah, we're, we've been mainly rugby or so we started branching out a bit to league as well and then we're, we're also just starting up uh aussie rules football as well so if you're interested in that stuff yeah make sure to sub yeah i guess yeah i guess we'll just hop into it all right so rd savea uh new zealand rugby union player plays as a flanker or number eight for wellington and the bunnings npc hurricanes and super rugby and the all blacks for the international uh he's a flanker we're number eight which is yeah number eight blind side open side flankers yeah yeah, they flank each set of forwards, compete for the ball most commonly in rocks and malls. They assist in pushing in a scrum, but also to dehash from the scrum as soon as the ball is out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and who are some of the biggest, who are some of the best? Uh, we definitely have done some some flankers before. I don't have any names on the top of my head. I think is um, DuPont a flanker? No, he's a scrum out. Okay, he's, a, he's a six seven. okay. Yeah, we, we must have done flankers. I apologize. I gotta start putting like the names in the uh, or the play positions in like the title of my video so I remember off the top of my head. Um, oh, I'm dumb. There, Rich, Richie McCaw. Richie McCaw was a flanker. It was an open side flanker. Okay. Yeah, so I guess what I should expect from that is more of a a two way player. I guess if if that's the, is that the right term for for rugby. Like in, in hockey, a two-way player is like someone that plays like offense and defense really well, kind of, but they're not like exceptional at either. Or at, yeah, at like, yeah, they're just good at both. They're good at transitioning between the two and all that. Um, anyways, uh, he was a member of the 2019 and 2023 World Cup squad. Uh, 2023 World Rugby Player of the Year. Okay, so he's like the reigning player of the year. Uh, Captain Wellington also previously played for Barbarian FC. Okay. For the New Zealand U20s and the the Sevens team, okay, cool. Is he going to be playing in the? Or it says previously. Would, would he be? No, he probably wouldn't be then at the at the Paris Olympics for for New Zealand. I assume not. Um, okay, let me just skip through this. I don't usually look through the whole like year by year career stuff. It would go forever. But okay, let's do, okay. He, he's a decent amount of tries. Okay, twenty two tries in. What is that? Eight years or so? Eight years roughly. One versus England in the World Cup, and one versus Italy. Oh, geez, 96-17 over Italy. That is wild. Yeah, I'm, yeah, Italy's not that great, right? I'm pretty sure they. We did the uh, the rugby. Man, is it the Six Nations? Yeah, the Six Nations, I think. And I think they said Italy like barely wins games in that usually, so they're they're not like that good. Maybe getting better, but yeah. Uh, his older brother is his former Hurricanes and All Blacks teammate Julian. Uh, he's of Samoan descent, father of three, runs a clothing company, okay, and is an advocate for mental health. And he also has a podcast. Okay, cool. Yeah, go, go buy some of his, his, his merch and uh, go check out his podcast. Maybe I'll do that too. They might have some sick stories. I'm a big podcast listener, so maybe I should, I should actually probably jump into some rugby podcasts that might, um, that might help me with uh, my knowledge of the sport. Actually, yeah, yeah, let me know. If there's any good rugby podcasts, let me know. Um, preferably... Uh, I don't know. You, you guys let me know. I'm sure there's one that would be good for someone that's kind of just starting out their rugby fandom. That's not super, like, it's not like the, uh, <laughs> it's not like the Squidge Rugby podcast or something. That might be a bit too, too in-depth for me, but, um, yeah, let me know. But yeah, so, yeah. Cool video. I didn't, his, his stats. He's 6'6", 225. Okay, that's a machine. Okay, he only played sevens for four years here, looks like. Okay. So he's yeah he's not not won't be on the Paris team. Yeah, I think most of you guys mentioned sevens usually, not usually, but a lot of teams use sevens as like their young players play sevens before they make the jump to the to the main squad. Um, 
that might be incorrect. I think it's correct. Maybe it was just in. Maybe it was just the spring box to do that. I don't know. Regardless, regardless. Yeah, let's just let's just hop into his, his highlights here. We have another Andrew Ford video. Great, great content guy. Uh, make sure to sub to him. Drop a like on his video. Um, we got 15 minutes of Artie Sevilla being very good at rugby. So this should be a good video. I'm excited to see what he's about. Um, I guess I did. I would have to guess he's similar to Richie McCaw style wise. Um, yeah, let's just hop into this. Making a lot of carries with that number six on his back. And now Artie Sevilla busting through. Nice. Good run. What competition is this? This is... World Cup. Yeah. Was it a pre-match thing for the World Cup? I'm not sure. Ooh. That's a what? <laughs> that dummy didn't really <laughs> didn't do much there. Ooh, nice. No, yeah, one of those little plays. I forget which guy we did recently that you should did that a ton. It's one of my more recent videos. Nice. We got the spring box too. He just dropped it. Look how good Adi Savia was there. Quickly through the hands. Ben May with a lovely ball. Oh, what a pass. Savia. Jeez. So win the game too, yeah, last minute. Nice. Ooh. Oh, what a pass. Huge. <laughs> he does the biggest dummies I've ever seen. He sells it as much as... He almost sells it too much that no one bites on it, but it, it worked there. Ooh. Nice. Oh, he's playing seven there. Nice. Nice. The commentator, an outrageous dummy. And snapped away by Sevilla. Sevilla. Oh, those guys hurt there. Bro, what a pass! Coles, Coles I didn't even see that pass he made. As he was falling, yeah, jeez. Nice. Chance for New Zealand to get back into the island half immediately. Adi Savia just so good on the ball. Check it out, Adi yeah. Savia. There's the gap. Gets rid of the cleaner. Gets his hands on the ball and turns it over. Great scramble defense. Great line out defense. And the All Blacks survived the onslaught. Piranara, here's Julian Salvia. First real opportunity for the big man. And sets it up for his brother. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, that was his brother. Okay. Yeah, I heard them say Julian. That's cool. They got to play together. It works out really well. No, hold on. Piranara. Nice. Nice. That's Wales. I like how there's lots of highlights from his pro his pro uh, games as well in this video. Lots of the videos we've done have been like uh, lacking that. It's just kind of international stuff. It's good to get a mixture. Oh, just runs over that guy. Oh, another one. Some more, meet, some more meters there. Post contact meters. Ooh. Oh, what a catch. There's Sevilla. Yeah, he's gone. Who, who are they playing? Is that... Who's Tong? Is it Tong Tongo? Hmm. Savea. Is it Skea? I feel like the commentators have said a different name every time. Savea, though, is what that guy said. Sevilla, Sevilla. 
Let me know if he's ever said what he prefers. I'm like, I don't know. I, commentators usually will ask the player the pronunciation, so it's weird that they're saying it differently. Ooh, what a good run. What a pass. Ooh. Wow, he got it. Nice. Oh, oh man. We just... Oh, that, that wasn't Savea, but the guy that jumped over. I, I, so, are you going to show a replay of that? Let me see. I want to rewatch that. Look at the guy, number 11, he, he jumps over this guy right there. <laughs> Yuwani? Is, is that what they said? Yuwani? What a play. Nice. Big tackle play. He's going to steal it. Nice. Nice. Is Scotland? Interesting jerseys for Scotland. Must be their alternates. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just barely. Nice. Nice, nice. That's the spring box, too. Oh, good steal. Nice to nice. do <laughs> His dummies are they're hilarious. Nice. Oh, Will Jordan. Oh, what the heck? How did that happen? Oh, <laughs> just threw that. Oh, what a kick. Get it. Nice. Put the All Blacks deep inside Wallaby territory. Pass goes wide to Salvia. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Four meters out, driving low and trying to get over the line. Nice to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, did they come back and win that game? Let me know. Fighting their way right back through the second half. 20 minutes left, down four. And this one, Bardi Sovea, again, the quality of Weld and Latch. One there is who's seen the second half of the All Blacks. Right there, yeah. Well, they didn't really show it there, but he got there. Samoa. Jeez. Is that a bad pass there, or did I just miss it? Good tackle break, though. A little forearm right in the face. Is that legal? I feel like that's not legal anymore, but let me know. Let me know. Oh, he ran over that guy. Jesus. Yeah, yeah Tong, Tong has to be Tonga, right? Actually, here. Just in case any, any of you guys are fans of the, this team, I want to make sure. Yeah, Tonga. Okay. That's I like. That's a really cool. Uh, this flag's re really cool. The Sea Eagles, nicknamed the Polynesian neighbors, Tonga to their message with the CP Tau, Fiji Samoa. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I got to do a video on some of these uh, uh, Polynesian. Uh, is, is that the right word? Polynesian like region? No. Pacific Islands region? I don't. I don't know. I don't know much about like Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, like that general area of the of like the world. I don't. I haven't really been exposed to it much. So I should probably do some uh, some research in, into that at some point. Anyway, sorry. Let's get back to the.
the video. Sevilla gets away from it right. England testing that All Blacks defence again. And once again, it is the defence that wins the day. And Sevilla takes the quick tap and gets in behind. Mm. As the Highlanders pile the pressure on. Almost breaking through with Sam Gilbert. Hurricanes have turned it over. Hardy Sevilla. No, Sevilla stole it. Nice, yeah. Yeah, he's really good at stealing it, I'm seeing. He seems a bit more, um, or I'll talk about it after the video, I guess. Yeah, he seems a bit more, a bit different than McCaw. And the All Blacks have the penalty. It was Sabia on his feet and over the ball, working hard. They knew that he was coming, or penalty right out in front of the post. Don't need it. Nice. Oh, that was to win the game, too. Yeah, 20 seconds left. Oh, big stuff. Is he going to steal it? Yeah, yoink. Okay, sorry about that. My my uh, my OBS just crashed in the middle of the video. I, th I think it saved everything, though, so let's just get back into it. Moving it on quickly. Remember, there's a one-man advantage in that back line. But a penalty, another breakdown penalty, and who comes up with the ball but Artie Savia? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he steals. He seems to steal it a ton. Of, you know. But ooh, yeah, he's a tank. Holy. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow! I went over everyone. Nice. <laughs> Was that a? Was that a sad play potentially? Because they threw it like too high, right? I wonder if that was a play. That's, that's, that'd be a risky ass play though, if that was like an intentional play like that. Because yeah, that'd be cool if it was if it was a set play. Let me know. Oh, Ooh, what a run there! T.J. Paranoa. That was pretty nice. Jordy Barrett. Nice. Oh. Oh. See him get it himself. Jeez. What a yeah. What a try. That was a, all three of those guys just going crazy. Oh. Oh. What a play. And then Savea is gonna get it. Nice. That was wild. Oh. Gee. I, I think I've seen that clip before. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> his, his dummies are so funny. I I don't think I, of any player or like league player I've seen. I don't think I've seen someone that like oversells the dummy as much as him. It's really funny. Uh, like I said before, it, it legit looks like he does it so much that it's like it's not even a dummy at that point. Like because it takes so long for him to do it, <laughs> but it works clearly. It's clearly working. What was that? Why did you just lay there? That was a weird. Uh, so New Zealand got the game underway. Yeah. Is this? This is when he's young. Yeah. Okay. I thought it looked a bit weird. Yes. Yeah, this is when this is U twenties. Twenty seconds on the clock. Here's Ani Savia. New end of the game here. Okay. Nice. Did they win off this? They, I'm assuming it was probably one. The game is almost over. Pops it in the tackle. Nice. Oh, cool. The Hurricanes with the lot versus the Lions. I know the Lions go on tours sometimes. I'm assuming this is that. Or the Hurricanes went on a tour of, of the UK. Nice. Oh, they're getting wallabies are getting killed. That's uh, yeah, and they, we've talked about that before. The Australian rugby's kind of gone downhill a bit um, in the last twenty years, just because of how popular uh, other sports have gotten in the country, taking away some of the best athletes from rugby. Good run here by Vincent Cox. 
Yeah, no and the 22 ball turned over. He still yet to seal it again? Yeah. Yeah, he grabbed it. Bowls with the throw. Lobs it up. One by nice. Scott Ooh. Jeez, what a run on the play. That, that one's definitely a set play, yeah. So cool, so cool. Yeah. He's so good at getting extra... Is it called post-contact meters in rugby? I know in in, uh, in league or the NRL it's called post-contact meters. Um, I'm assuming it's probably the same terminology for rugby. Oh, what a run. Oh. Wow. Oh, what was that guy doing? Take your time. There's another one of his dummies. <laughs> yeah, the, the commentator just mentioned what I was saying. Yeah, because he he just puts it so high and like it's it's like he almost held it at the top just now. It, it makes it like it's not even a. It's like it's like he's just like kind of like not not showing off, but it's like he's um. Maybe show, show, no, showboating is not the right word. No, it's just like, yeah, it's just like funny. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Mapimpi. Oh, I love saying that name. We, we saw him on the video. <laughs> Scott Barrett trying to yeah, rip it away from him with Savia, and he's done so. Oh, more magnificent nice. work from oh, Artie Savia. He is yeah. Superman out there today. <laughs> Gets it off to Jordy Barrett, feeds it up to Julian Savier. Oh, Julian Savier, nice. Is he playing on the same team as his brother this one in the All Blacks? Nice. <laughs> that was like the step version of his dummies right there. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, big hit. Tackle. Oh, you seal it too? Awesome. Nice, jeez, just throws him off him. Yeah. So oh, that was sevens? Okay. Or no, that was, wait. Sorry. No, this, this is what, this is sevens, okay. Yeah, HS, every time I see the HSBC logo, I, it pretty much means it's sevens, right? From my understanding, they're, they're like the main sponsor of it. All right, all right, guys. So that was Artie Savia. Oh, man, that was Artie Savia. Savia Savia. I, I'm sure it doesn't really matter. Um, the commentators were saying it differently, so I, I think it's Savia. Savia. That that sounds like more correct to me. Um, yeah, apologies though. You guys know how bad I am with uh, getting the names right. Um, yeah, so so that was uh, that was a video on him. Um, yeah, I guess to compare him to like yeah, he was the same position as McCall, right? Or very similar position. Um, I noticed some similarities. Like they're both really good at like reading the play and like stopping plays. I guess uh, Savea did seem more like of an, of an offensive player. At least in terms of like stuff right along the try line and all that, like um, yeah, like in the in the McCall highlight in the highlights at least I obviously didn't watch like a full game of McCall or something, but in the highlights McCall seemed to be more um, like of a, a playmaker, I guess is the right word. He didn't seem to score that many tries, McCall, and he he was more he was just so good at like reading reading the plays and like being like in the perfect position and all that to like make the team be successful type thing. Uh, Savea just seemed he seemed more like a highlight player than than McCaw. Um, with like he had lots of lots of good tries, lots of uh, passes and stuff. And he, his like his ability to to like keep running after contact was crazy. And the he obviously seemed to like half the video was him like stealing the ball off of players in, in like um, off of tackles and stuff, which is obviously that's like hugely important, right? So. Yeah, all, all that put together, it's yeah, I can see why he won the uh, World Player of the Player of the Year last year. Um, yeah, he seems to just be like a, just a tank. 
So yeah, so that that was an awesome. Movie. That was definitely one. Of, he was one of my in terms of like highlights. Like obviously, some like it's rugby. Not everyone is like like the best players in the world. All don't always have the best highlights. That, I mean, that's true for most for most sports, I guess. But um, yeah, he, he was one of the my more uh, one of the more impressive players I've watched in terms of highlights. Like that also could just be me, as I've grown to understand the game more. I, I can see more of what they're doing. Like maybe someone I watched early on is like similar, does the same stuff, and I just didn't really appreciate it as much at the time. Um, but yeah, no, really exciting player. Definitely one of my one of my favorites I've watched so far. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about that's all I gotta say. Really, yeah, it's really exciting to watch. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Um, yeah, let me know who to check out next. Um, I've been saying this for like a month straight, but I am trying to get on a, a schedule where I do rugby on certain days. And then other stuff on other days um and i've also mean to get a discord set up as well so i can get more um not more feedback but like um like maybe i can set up polls and stuff for you guys to vote to vote on who i who i do on certain days because you know my list of like players to check out teams moments etc to check out has been it's honestly kind of like i go to make a video and i'm just sitting there like which one do i do hmm i got too many uh too many options i kind of need someone to just pick something for me on that day because like uh, yeah it makes me it makes me like kind of procrastinate i guess i kind of yeah i'm like hmm, what do i do um yeah so i'm gonna try to get a, a discord set up soon soon um, i've been saying that i've been saying soon for like a month though um <laughs> um yeah, and I, I did also want to start checking out some professional rugby because like, you guys have seen, I've been, I started checking out the NRL, which has been awesome. I, I've done a couple live streams where I'm like watching the game and like providing my my like, input on like my first time watching and that sort of thing. And I, I'd like to do that for uh, for professional rugby as well. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I'll figure out what to do for that. I, I do have, let me actually check my, um, my TV provider had a bunch of rugby on it that I did not, I was not aware of. Um, schedule, let me just quickly look. Uh, rugby. Yeah, the, the only issue with um, rugby, rugby, like rugby, uh, professional rugby for me is that the games are actually on, on like, yeah, there's, there's, what is the Super League? I think the Super League, that, that's, that's League, right? And then Premiership Rugby, I believe, is. Premiership Rugby. Yeah, okay, Premiership Rugby is, is Rugby, Rugby Union. Um, and then I also have the United Rugby Championships, uh, which is the... Uh, that's like the one that's like played throughout a bunch of countries, like South Africa has teams in it and stuff. And then is the Super, Betfred Super League. That, that is League, right? I'm pretty sure that's League. Yeah, this is, this is League, okay. Um... Yeah, so so I, ha I have access to Premiership Rugby and United Rugby Championship. Yeah, but like like I was saying, the the issue for me with watching this is the like, or doing a stream at least is the the games are on at like noon for me, which um actually, geez, I have so many games available on on Saturday. Holy crap! Or t today, I guess when this video is out. But yeah, like, the, like oh yeah, sorry. The, the issue though is the, the the games are on like at, the, at like noon for me. On, on weekdays right so i can't really stream those because i'll be working but some of the weekend games i might be able to do like lots of these are at like 5 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m uh there's one game at noon which would be fine for me probably but yeah I, I definitely want to check out start checking out some some professional rugby union and like getting some live streams so you can watch along with me and stuff and that, that that has been a good i've been doing those for the nrl and they've been a good time um, got lots of people chatting and stuff just about rugby or about the game in general so they've been fun yeah so I'm, I'm gonna try to start doing maybe do one of those every couple weeks um, I can like alternate between doing an NRL one and then a and then a league one or an NRL one and then a rugby one kind of each week and maybe do one of each a week if, if I if I have the time um, but yeah let me know if you have a preference between like which leagues better is it the premiership or the United Rugby Championship what, which one do you, do you guys think is better in terms of like the quality of competition, I guess. I'm gonna assume that the URC is better just because the teams are from like, there's like South African teams and stuff as well as like like teams in the UK and stuff. So I'd assume the URC is better, but 
I do know that the top 14 league is the best league, but yeah, I don't have access to that, I don't believe. Let me check my other TV provider though. Um, the rugby championship under 20. Okay, I have access to this. Is there a good New Zealand, South Africa? When is that? May 2nd. What, what day is that? May it's a Thursday at midnight. I might, I, I might try to do this. Okay. Yeah, the rugby championship U twenties. There's New Zealand versus South Africa on May the second. Uh, that'd be at midnight my time. Yeah, I, I, that, that, uh, that might be too late for me. I'll see. That might be a good, really good game to do though. Let me know if you want me to check that out as like a lot. I do it would be like a live stream where I, I wouldn't be able to show the footage, but you can just watch along with me. They've been pretty fun. Uh, then Super Rugby. Okay, Super Rugby is the New Zealand league, right? So I have access to Super Rugby. So you can add that to the, the list. So I got, I have Premiership Rugby, URC Rugby, and Super Rugby. And do I have Top 14? I don't think, I, I have Pacific 4 Rugby. What is this? There's so many different. This has Canada in it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Pacific Four Rugby. Okay, geez, I, I didn't realize how much rugby I had. Uh, rugby Seven. This is this is old. This is how data looks like. Or no, Singapore. Day two pool play. This looks like it's all day. Interesting. Okay, yeah, no, no top fourteen though. Okay. Anyway, sorry guys, that went way too long. I don't wait too long. But yeah, so let, let me know what I should check out of, of those. I, uh, Premiership Rugby, uh, United Rugby Championship, Super Super Rugby, and then the U20s. I get to check out some of the U20s as well. Um, and then obviously in the future, we are going to do uh, watch-alongs for the Paris uh, Olympics Rugby. Because I definitely want to check out, like, I know... I don't know who else is the top player in that, but I know DuPont's playing, so I want definitely want to watch DuPont play in the sevens and see if he can win a win a championship on home soil. That'd be cool. And then, obviously, sevens. You guys have said that Canada is pretty good at sevens, um, especially on the women's side. So I definitely want to check them out and support support my country while we're while we're doing this. But yeah. Anyways, this video once again, as per usual, my video went pretty pretty long today. Um, yeah. Awesome video though, one of my favorites I've done so far. So uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you thought. Uh, make sure to sub if you're not subscribed. Uh, like the video, and yeah, who should I check on next? Um, hopefully get a Discord up sometime this weekend. It's I'm kind of I'm a perfectionist with uh, with certain stuff, and yeah, I'll probably it'll probably take me a while to set up a Discord to my uh, to my liking because I usually get pretty pretty nerdy with uh, setting stuff up like that. So. Um, yeah, anyways, one to there. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.